Okay, so for today's video, we are going to be doing some converting. Um, and this first slide is going to be kind of just the rules for converting. So in this case, it's rules for converting to the nearest fraction of an inch. So we have this number here, 0.42 inches. And if we were looking for the distance on that, that would be very difficult because it doesn't show that on a tape measure. So we need to get it into the nearest quarter, the nearest eighth, the nearest half, or the nearest sixteenth of an inch. So this slide is just going to kind of be a basics on the rules of that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that number and it's zero, oh, 0 0.42 and we're going to times it by the denominator of the fraction we're looking for. So we're going to times that by four. Okay, I'm just going to use my calculator here, zero point four two, and I'm going to times that by four, and I get one point six eight. And I always like to put it over the denominator, over the four, just as a reminder that I have to do something with that. I have to round up or down. So we're going to look at one right of the decimal place, and if this number here is a five or higher, we round this up. If it's a four or lower, we would round this down. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and round it up. So this is going to become two quarters, okay? At this point, we always reduce this if we can. Even though it's asking for the nearest quarter, we don't leave it in quarters if we can reduce. So this would be reduced to one half, okay? So what does that mean? What does that mean? 0 0.42 inches, if we're trying to get it to the nearest quarter, is half, okay, so half an inch. So on a tape measure, 0 0.42 to the nearest quarter would be a half, okay? It's saying that it's closer to two quarters than it is one quarter, and it's closer to two quarters than it is three quarters, okay? So let's look at what that looks like if we're trying to get to the nearest eighth. We would go 0 0.42, and we're gonna times what? We're gonna times it by the denominator, which is eight. Okay, so I'll go over here in my calculator, clear that 0 0.42, and I'm going to times that by 8, and I get 3.36 eighths. Okay, now I look one to the right of the decimal, and I see that that number is a 3, so I know I'm going to round down. Okay, so this will just stay at 3 eighths. Okay, so again, that means 0 0.42, if we're trying to get it into eighths of an inch, three eighths would be the closest. Now we go over here and we go 0 0.42 and we're trying to get it to the nearest half. So I'm gonna take 0 0.42 and I'm gonna times it by two because that's the denominator. And I'll just go over here in my calculator and go 0 0.42 and I'm gonna times it by two and I get 0 0.84 halves, which am I gonna round up or down? I'm gonna round up because that eight is higher than four. So that becomes a one. You'll notice that these are the same answer because when we did the quarters, it rounded up. So that should be somewhat similar. And then the last example here is uh, converting 0 0.42 inches into sixteenths of an inch. So now we're trying to find the closest sixteenth of an inch. So we're going to take that same number, 0 0.42, and we're going to times it by 16 because that's the denominator. And if I go over here in my calculator, it's 0 0.42, and times it by 16, I get 6.72 sixteenths. Okay, so am I going to round up or down? I'm going to round up. That uh, seven will round this one up to seven sixteenths. Okay, so you notice that some of these answers are a little bit different, but they're all somewhat close, right? Seven sixteenths is pretty close to a half because a half is eight sixteenths, so it's only a sixteenth off. And three eighths in sixteenths is six sixteenths, so that's pretty close as well, but it just matters which we're close, we're going closest to. So the other rule that we want to keep in mind is if the question does not give a specific nearest quarter, nearest eighth, nearest half, or nearest sixteenth, we're always going to assume that the nearest sixteenth is close enough. So if it doesn't say we're going to 
take it to the nearest 16th.